In today's episode, I'm gonna be building a beautiful tree farm and then we're gonna go to the nether and get some blaze spawners to put into our newly constructed building. And if you like this episode, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And let's go on with today's episode. In the last episode, we have built this and also this. In between episodes, I've been busy so if you've been a long time follower of the series you know this building basically it's a biodiesel factory and it's responsible powering the entire factory district so you're telling to yourself why are we here because let me tell you something i did some things that that needed to be changed for example i added another row of generators and this threshold switch and this resident link which is connected to this clutch and this resident link as you can see the reason for this is when this gets nearly empty it would tell the clutch to kick in and start flowing fuel biofuel to be exact to these generators this has been set when it gets to 10 percent it will fill up to 100 and then go back and then when it comes to 10 percent it will tell it to fill up to 100 percent again now i'm gonna show you what will happen as you can see the chest icon and it's filling up this fuel and as you can see it's moving for a bit and then it shut off and then because it's a hundred percent all of these generators it's a pretty neat system to be honest and in between episodes i continued the row down here and i built this i built this in between episodes because this is gonna be our new tree plant tree plant deforestation camp um tree farm so basically we're gonna destroy that old tree farm which is getting me a lot of wood and move it through here which we're gonna have four different saplings planted maybe oak um dark oak maybe spruce maybe birch i don't know just yet but i know is i need to do that because as you can see here this is gonna be a blaze farm and i already have a design for this building which is gonna be up here which is gonna be the blaze farm and i cannot do that right now because there is there's this tree farm which is blocking our way of making this said building so without further ado let's build the tree farm by now you already know how to make a tree farm but if you don't know let me show you first you need to dig a tree by tree hole down beneath next is to put your water wheel and make sure you block here and you put your water there then you need some shafts just like so and make sure your mechanical bearing is flush on the grass next step is to build your frame make sure your sticky side is facing right here then build your farm as how many blocks you want so i'm making mine four one two three and four this doesn't count and make sure to super glue it just like so and get your mechanical saws and place them like so don't forget to glue this to there next is to build up one and two one and two three and four and make sure to glue it all to here just like so and at the back get your deployers just like so if you place your deployers there's gonna be a filter right here which you're gonna set when you place the deployers you need to grab your wrench and go underneath and just right click them all to make sure the filter is facing you because if you don't you can't access the filter for example right here you can't access the filter to this deployer so make sure to right click that with your wrench and easy peasy Next, get your saplings and place them in the filter slot. And next step, and don't forget to glue it to your machine. And the next step is to get yourself some chests or any storage you would like. I would prefer barrels because you can open them up just like so. But I'm gonna put my barrel right here and also i forgot you need a portable storage interface you need to place your portable storage interface facing this way after you have placed your portable storage interface you need a one block gap right here and place your underside or any type of block and then your portable storage interface facing that way 
you're gonna need the chest right here but I'm not gonna put mine right here I'm gonna put mine right here in the front where there is a one block gap and I can put a chute right here or uh, and then a chest right here and make sure to glue that in place I'm gonna glue that to the top and by now make sure your contraption is glued mine is and just destroy this block right here oh don't forget to get the block back and just right click on the mechanical bearing to see if your machine has worked as you can see i didn't right click it again as you can see it's now working this is how you build a tree farm i'm gonna get this farm all sorted and i'm gonna be right back when i finish it all as you can see we have finished the tree farm but there's no saplings yet that's what we're gonna do we're gonna find some saplings that we're gonna build out of and let's go on an adventure in between episodes i have made this other thing it's called the nature's compass basically it will find every biome in your world as you can see there's an endless amount of biome that we can explore but i need a dark oak forest and it has found a dark oak forest in this direction wait wait yeah in this direction so i'm gonna go to this so I'm gonna find this dark oak forest and I'll be right back with you guys. So along the way in the hunt for dark oak, we have found spruce and zombies. Yes. So I'm gonna take... Actually, I'm gonna need spruce for a future build that I'm not disclosing. So let me get a couple of these while we're here. I think that's enough 55 saplings and a stack and almost two stacks of spruce log so let's go find our dark oak forest we have discovered the dark oak forest and a birch forest right here next to each other i'm gonna take both while i can I think this should be enough for now and we have a farm that can replant saplings and add more saplings in the future and I don't want to risk my axe getting broke. So for now we're gonna go back to base and plant all of this saplings and just like that we're home and hi there's my Tasmanian devil. Hi you're cute so what am i about to do now is stop this machine just like so and this will be our spruce farm just like that you're gonna be spruce so you're gonna be dark oak i think for the dark oak one we're gonna be somewhat creative because dark oak will only grow in a 4x4 pattern so let me get creative with this real quick and this is gonna be our dark oak farm basically there's four corners that can be planted on which is gonna be grass and i have limited that to only four because it will not look symmetrical if i put another four right here well i could in another four right here i could do that but uh from this alone we're gonna get a lot and even if i have afk right here it's gonna produce a lot a lot of wood so next on the agenda which is pretty basic it's gonna be birch i think birch is one of the most hated trees in minecraft i don't know why but i think it is don't quote me that there we go this is our tree farm going ham at it but this is gonna be our permanent tree farm and i'm gonna decorate the whole place later but right now we're gonna appreciate it look at those machines twirling right now i don't want to leave it as is because it looks ugly yes i'm gonna decorate this place to look like a lumber yard where there's logs running about and then there's high fence areas and there's gonna be a cargo area somewhere right here or maybe right here oh that's actually an idea build a building right here and that will store our logs 
Hmm. Good idea. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna be back with you guys. The finished lumber yard. Does it look pretty? So this is the lumber yard and that's what I'm calling it, the lumber yard. Basically I build a fence around it just like a real life lumber yard and when you come through here there is a building and there's some constructions that's chopping down the tree as you can see but this are this is set for to be kept in their storage for now because we're gonna work on a system if you come through here to this garage door there's a hole right here that i dug out because it's i want to connect all of these i want to have belts running through here and then shoots going up to their drawers as you can see i have placed them down right here and that should be pretty easy job and let's just get to building so this is the final final design which is i have the fence hooked up right there as you can see there's particles blowing up and then this is still the same and that is still the same so let's open up our gates which is i'm gonna do oak first nope not like that right click that and that should when this comes around faucet the items which we're gonna see right there it's gonna deposit and let's go back down and let's see if the oak is traveling through here as you can see the oak is right there here's the oak come on yes it's taking a bit of time and we should see it right here adding up yes it is a little slow but it's working so let's open all of this up here's some dark oak logs as you can see it's all working now and we have our finished conveyor belt system that's carrying our logs to our storage unit so this is our sorting facility done as you can see all the logs are here all the cabinets and i've furnished this with some tables and chairs and a carpenter's table but i don't know what to put here um right here i have decorated this and also this and all the way here and i think it looks good so we can get rid of this farm now and deposit the items from here to there so this just look beautiful at night enough of the admiring we have to make ourselves a blaze farm right here because our tools are not doing the best i just repaired this and it cost me experience and diamonds so I need to work on the blaze farm, which is the easiest spawner that we can get. So let me construct this blaze farm and I'll be back with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's done. Let me give you a tour of our new building inside. By the way, we have a visitor right here, Dwayne, which he have a sombrero, which I'm going to take right now. Then right there. Hey! <laughs> oh my god, this is a big hat. When we enter the building, as you can see, I have decorated it all. We have a... That's loud. We have a glass table right here with some painting, with immersive paintings. And we have an office right here with, and with another painting. And then if you go right here, this is like the lounge area that you can sit. Hi. And we have another painting and this is another office, which I like because I like this painting right here. And I like the placements of everything right there and this is where the collection system is happening so let me go upstairs and show you so up the stairs as you can see i have built this glass dome as you can say glass box with tinted glass so if you go through here and not get hit by the swords oh that hurts okay so i'm gonna put spawners up here maybe three of them or one fans is controlled by a rotational speed controller underneath and that is sending full speed to this so if you go right here if you're a blaze if you go down here instantly you will get decapitated yeah let me oh ouch so let me get some blaze spawner real quick from the nether and i'll be right back there's some terp in here that traveled into the portal well 
tough luck, but he's tough luck. Okay, what are you? Oh, that's creepy. What the? A drop bear? That's a quest? Damn, that's creepy. Drop bear claws? Hey. Right there. Just like that. Take you. Just like that. I think we're done. Come on. Last, please. There we go. The future I can put looting or unbreaking in those swords, but for now I'm good. As you can see back here, there's some there's some brass funnels with filter that that tells the brass funnel do not eject the swords. So basically, it's a self-sufficient farm right here, in a big room, and all the space we can do right here in the future so this is gonna be it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and like button down below and comment down what you think and this is me chili signing out